Yo, 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 YouTube. Welcome back to the Dollar Box. This is episode number two on our journey of trying to reach 2,000 in sales before I leave for the National on the 28th. Now, quick story. I was at the zoo with my family yesterday, and I got a disturbing email from my hotel reservations sta stating that uh, the card that they were holding for my reservation was no longer good, valid, it was expired, which I had forgotten about this because I booked the hotel about nine months ago, but I had actually lost that card, had to cancel it and get a new card issued, forgot all about the fact that that had been my reservation for my hotel. So during the middle of our zoo visit, I took a break, went out to my car and made a phone call and got that all sorted out. So I'm good to go for the national, but Brief scare moment. And I almost had a heart attack. <laughs> but anyway, back to the video series. We did have a good couple of days of sales. I think we got back ahead of pace. Uh, today is the 18th of July. It means I have 10 more days to get my $2,000 in sales to meet the challenge. Now, I plan to make two more videos, so it looks like about every four or five days, which is typical for me for shipping. So this would be sales for Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. We sold some really nice stuff, got some good prices, had a few messages making me offers on some things that I accepted. So let's see how much closer we got to our goal. Check it out. Okay, so here's our cards we sold in the last four days-ish. Um, you can see a pretty nice pile here. I have some good variety. A lot of my random stuff I've been listening has been selling, which is great. Lots of single cards, no PSA cards or anything like that this time, um, but some interesting stuff. Let's take a look. So I have these separated by order, essentially. So I sold this limited edition Skybox Die cut, Brady. The hot card of the moment here. So this absolute football, I think this is 2017, 18. Okay, so the actually sold a few of those. I ended up raising the price and I sold another one, as you'll see here in the video. 2008 tops, Tom Brady. I sold this 1972, I think this year was. Seven, yeah, 73. Um, Tops Al Matthews from the Packers. This Brett Favre and Troy Aikman rivalries insert out of 97 scoreboard. Proline. Had a buyer by three of these 2006 Tops DPP base cards. I always love it when quantity sells. Here's another one of those 18 absolutes. Finally sold some of these. I had gotten a pretty good stack of each of these cards in a, a lot a while ago. And none of them have sold yet. I've actually considered dropping the price, but I sold this pair here. And then I have another sale down in the pile, so they're finally starting to move. But anyway, these are the Panini um, team sets. So this was the Michigan Collegiate team set or team collection, whatever you want to call it. They sold two of those. Sold this 98 Flare Brett Favre. It's a 2002 Prestige. So this is a first-year Patriots card, if you want to call it that. His rookie year, of course, was 2000, but um, low draft pick, so he wasn't in a lot of sets. Not a lot of pro uniform cards. And then in 2001, they didn't make much of them. So 2002 cards tend to be popular and have a little more value. Here's an 03 Bowman Chrome. It's a very nice, shiny, early Brady there. 95 Collector's Choice. This is the Players Club edition, so it's got the silver border. Here's a 17 Prism. A 
another second year or first year Patriots card. 2002 Private Stock Titanium. And then this was a pretty good group by one buyer. Here's a, another one of those 2002s. It's Adrenaline from Pacific. It's a uh, Fleer Mystique. I think that's 2003. It's another 2002 uh, Fleer Box Score. 2002, just plain old Pacific. Here's a Topps Chrome Fantasy Focus insert. Uh, another one of those 2002 Prestiges. Topps Super Bowl Champions insert card. Subset card, whatever you want to call it. It's a Elite, 2009 Elite. 2009 SP. 2004 Prestige. Another Elite. I'm not sure what this year this is. Nine, maybe? Fifteen. Oof. The 17 Optic. The 17 stuff sells pretty well because you can't get a hold of any of it with it being um, Mahomes' rookie year. Here's a 18 Contenders. Captain's subset out of 18 score. And then this little game face score subset insert, whatever you want to call it, out of 2020 score. Okay, next, sold another one of these. You can see these are happen to be red hot right now for some reason. Then I had a buyer message me and wanted all three of these. 92 Club High Series Farves. I've been kind of, just like the base tops, I sort of pick these up whenever I find a good deal on them. I try to pay about 35 for them. Try to sell them for 60 to 65. Um, he offered 50 a piece, and I figure, well, if I can sell all three, get 50 a piece, that's uh, still some profit in there. And I can move on from those, look for some more out of deal. Here's a 08 SP. Another popular card in these sales. I have three of those in here that I sold. Here's another little lot, sort of. These were purchased individually by an international buyer, but of course I'll ship them all together, so I'll get a great deal there. This is 05 Chrome, 11 Chrome, 14 Chrome, and then the Legacy 2020, I think. And this is the 19, and that's the Chrome version. It's a nice little group of cards sold there. And I sold a Justin Jefferson Cracked Ice Orange Prism out of this year's draft. Draft picks, Prism draft picks. It's another one of those 08 SPs. And another one of the random cards. This is the Jim Kelly Movie Motion Vision card. This is kind of the... There was a lot of cards before this that tried to do the sort of wiggle picture cards. Didn't do a very good job of it. This was kind of the first one where it's actually, it's actually pretty good. It's pretty cool when you wiggle it. It does appear to be a moving image. But big bulky random cards. So I'm happy to, to move on from that. And then I sold a Giannis. Congratulations, Bucks, on breaking Phoenix's serve last night and having a chance to win it at home. Haven't a lot, had a lot of successful years, um, really since, I think, the 70s. And uh, living in, in Wisconsin, it's nice to see the Bucks get some success. And here's a 2020. Legacy base version. That's an 06 League Leaders Tops. Is that 06? I think it is. Yeah, 06 Tops League Leaders. Common little card there. And I sold a Peyton Pritchard Prism Rookie Basketball. And I had. 
These four go to a buyer. A little bit random for me, Baker, My House Optic. I think I got that freer that came in that big lot of random quarterback cards. Here's a Jonathan Taylor Donruss Clear Rated Rookie out of Chronicles. A LaMelo Ball Instant Impact Rookie. I, asked, I was asking more for this than recent sales, so I was happy to, to sell it at my inflated price. And then another one of those Brady uh, Team Michigan cards. So nice sale of those four cards there. Again, I like any of my random stuff. I like selling those because they're just things that I've stumbled upon or extras I've gotten in lots or free cards or whatever. And uh, so I'm happy when those, when those move because it'll go to someone who will enjoy them and um, make some profit for me on a card and I don't really have any interest in holding. Here's a, speaking of no interest, this is another Tebow. Tebow has a very strong following. So I've sold almost all the Tebow cards that I got in that lot. This is a 13 tops. An 03 Fleer Hot Prospects. I really liked these cards. They have kind of like an embossed Team logo, you can sort of see that on camera there. They're just cool. A little bit of foil there. Nice and shiny on the back. You can see the reverse embossing there. Slick cards. And then a, what I would consider a Farve card. This is progression out of 95, or 2000, excuse me, 2000 tops. So it's got Montana, Farve, and Pennington on there. So it's supposed to kind of show you know, Montana was the old school, Favre was the current school, and Chad Pennington was supposed to be the quarterback of the future. Basically, so cool card there. 2013 SP. This has been a hot card lately, too. I've sold a bunch of those. I went back and increased the price on the remaining ones. Got a message on this card. This is a backdoor um, essential, essential credentials now copy. It's not numbered. And I uh, had somebody who was interested in this for a couple bucks off, so I took it. Good sale for me. Now, I had bought a set of four of these. I got Favre, Brady, Manning, and Ladanian Tomlinson. The Favre I wanted for my PC. And then the Brady I sold for 60 I believe. This one I sold for 50 I think I still have the Tomlinson. But I paid 35 for the whole group, so made money off of those. Plus, I got the Farve that I wanted out of it. I still have the Tomlinson to sell. Here's an 05 SP. Another one of those 08 SP. SP cards have been very popular as of late. And then I sold my first... 2021 Contenders card, other than the orange cracked ice, out of 23 I pulled. This is Kenneth Gainwell, front row seats, a uh, little subset, insert set here. So happy to move on that too. So that's it. Let's go back, get a tally of our total amount of sales and see where we are at. So those are the sales. Where are we at in the challenge? So the number that I had for this video's sales is $510, so not bad. Thanks again so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a nice thumbs up. Consider subscribing if you like these videos and ring the bell if you wanna be notified of any video we post in the future. I'll be back with the round three video in a couple of days. See you again soon.